live from Oakland, California, the Bay Area. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Oakland Athletics. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All righty, welcome into another Oakland A's game. Beautiful night here at the O.co. As we're going to be checking in with our guy. So almost ready to Let's get underway. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Gunner Hoagland. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, but he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo. Don't give hitters Leading time to adjust or think. They can move through the a ball game, and you look up, John. they're in line for a quality start. We'll Dito, Hunt, Gunner Hogland has been pretty good since being called up. 3-1 and one with a 1.3 ERA. Uh, we've, this is only the second time we have played as Hogland. And uh, he's been surprisingly good, filling in quite nicely so far. See how he does as the year progresses. The pitch. Swain's, Swain's team knows how to make contact, so I think we'll get a very good test here. You can see we are 21 and 11 going into today. First in the West, we have had a very good first month of June. The check swing somehow doesn't call swing. That's Jansen for you. He is going to get birdie with a strikeout. Good start. Oakland has been very good. Let's see what the Twins lineup looks like today. Against us. Oh, I guess we won't see it yet. Robbie Rarick. Anything about this cat? First pitch doesn't find the zone. 92, probably as fast as you're going to see Hoagland throw his fastball. He may touch 93. It says 95, but to be honest, I've never thrown a 95 with him. Maybe we'll see that here, but as of right now, 93 is all I have seen of Hoagland. Here's a 1-1. Head again, one and two to Rarick. Wins DH tonight. One, two now. So blue, Robert can't get it. There's a one out knock for Rarick. Almost had it. Split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And some good range just could come up with it. Next for Minnesota, Franklin Labor. Alright, so speed on first. Will they run here? We put money that he probably will. There he goes. Run around the goal. Pop up, and Hanniger's not going to get that, isn't he? He's is not. Here comes the throw to third. Safe. Back-to-back -to -back hits. Like I said, this Twins team loves to hit. Of course, it's going to be a little piss bloop right field. Too many of these. Here is Byron Buxton. Early inning troubles here. And first off, Buxton only hitting 225 this season. Three homers and eight ribbies. When it's got quite Rearing on third, Labor at first. One goal. Quite a uh, damn to get out of here. We doing it, hanging it, but he's got a head on too. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The slider again. Oh, and two. Here's the O2. Oh, by it, Buxton's pretty good in this one. Get 
Oof. And that one 93 bucks and fouls it off. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how. But the Mariners one swings. game back, man. We've done all this winning. Unfortunately, the Mariners have as well. The next offering misses, and it's Step down the way. See what we can do here. Runners are at the corners. One away. A little play ball would be nice. Getting it there. Two balls, two strikes. It wasn't working in the first inning here. And here it comes. And a foul Everything's ball. just levitating again. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Right, he delivers. And he and caught him fishing. Big second out. Yeah, two down. Certainly Put it a bat. strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher That's has it. to step up That's and get the swing and miss. Really nice yeah, not where we wanted that. But he swung at it, so he helped Richard us out there. Two down. Jose Miranda, the next twin up it does not get any easier, though. Here's Jose Miranda. Be three ball. again. Two fifty-five on the year. Been a pretty solid hitter. This team collectively is hitting two sixty as a team. We come in hitting two seventy-five. And the old one. Ball hit down the left field line. Pender got it. Got a baby Pender. I didn't know if he was going to catch that or not. So two hits, but no damage to the bottom of the first. Let's see who we're up against. Bottom of the first, and today's starting pitcher, Kyle Muller. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. We go to All right, the so Muller. Take a look at him. Robert Poisson. Take a look at Kyle Muller, 27 years old. Three and two with a 3.1 ERA, five tool pitcher, five pitch pitcher, I should say. Very bad year last year. A slightly better start this year. Got some good stuff. Not elite, but very good stuff. Let's see how he is. Here comes a pitch. And Robert is going to lead off with a hit. Good start. So well, Bear's been a very good hit and lead off. That's why he's been staying there. Fortunately, when you send some games, the game randomly decides to put Pache at lead off. But we not have him Pache anywhere in our lead off spot in any lineup. So here is Yoan. In there for a lot of power by Yoan, so we gotta be very careful what we do here. He's having a good season, 271. This whole lineup is real good season. Nobody out, runner at first. We give up a lot of home run balls. Not a bad arm behind the plate. We may think about stealing, not in this case though. That's fine. I don't want to check my swing or anything. Come on, game. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. One two to go on. Down in the zone. There goes Robert. Out of baby. Still the bag. Second bag swipe of the year by Robert. One and two. Kicks and deals. A lot of fastballs. Muller throws a lot of fastballs. Cannot ignore his off speed. Just like I mentioned. One caught a strikes out. That was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in, he gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better. Yeah, slider. Shouldn't swing that pitch, but it did. Oh, that was a two seamer. Very good curveball, though. My goodness, what a curveball! Here is Austin Meadows. So here's Meadows. 
Do we even need to talk about how good he's been doing? The first pitch 355 on the year. First in the American League in OPS. He is, good lord, 14 home runs, and we are only one year out, or one month. One out and a runner at second. The season is one month old. Uh, going to shatter the bat the there. No trouble here. Puts and he's going to... Splinter is back to third base. And time now to check out the A's line. There's our lineup. Of course, one of the best players in the game today. Rafael Got Pender starting in left today. Took a pretty big step last year. Get him some at bats. The American League, and now you're on the radar. They're much everybody else is the same. Teammates know it. They expect a lot from you because of that success. There's Hanniger. So there are going to be times where you're going to have to put the team on your shoulders, and I know he's more than capable of doing. I mean, what he can do with runners in scoring position. And he's going to do it again as that's hit the right center field. Robert can stroll home. And Hanniger will log into second base there. And just like that, the A's make him pay. Eighth double of the year for Mitch. Baby. Not a baby. Throwing a lot of fastball first pitches. So we're going to try to take advantage of that if we can. Man at second here with two away. Devers now. Didn't play in the day that game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. First yeah. offering. Devers getting the, the day off. I believe they started uh, Davidson at third base, if I'm not mistaken. And he deals. Devers is going to shoot that down the left field line. That's going to drop in. Hanniger's going to be waved in. Throw's going to go to second. And the A's are going to get two in the first inning. Thank you, Devers. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Let's take it the other way, man. Deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. Hey, if they're going to give you that extra space, let's take it. And now, Chad Pender. That is good. No left fielder. First pitch and he There's our boy Chad Pinder. 290, but he's only seen, I think he's only had like 16 at bats, though. Very limited time. Very limited playing time. At the belt fires. Kind of criminal, but, you know, we just have to go with what gets us a winning product. Pinder is pretty much our utility man now. Best way I could say it. That misses. All three. Muncie on deck. 3-0 to Pinder. Devers leads off Just to date this game. Uh, put on Twitter yesterday the trade. Our uh, trade of the month, if you will. We sent Lawrence Butler to the Brewers for a outfield prospect. Really needed. I think it was a fair trade. Brewers offered that prospect. Good play to Pender's going to take a walk. Able to take the Here walk. comes Muncie. You know, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the, the fastball. Baseman. So two on with two away. Here comes the rookie. Now the rookie second baseman, Max Muncie. He's going to sting that to the left center, center field, and that Buxton. will be caught. Yeah, if it's going to be hit to Buxton, forget about it, man. He's going to run it down. Nice swing, though, by Muncy. We got two runs. Let's go to the second. Back here in the East Bay. Second inning set to go. And the batter will be the shortstop, Nick Gordon. Shortstop. See if we can keep a lead here. Hoagland, back to work. I doubt some of his success is because of the offense. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch misses. And the count even one and one. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. 
don't think I don't know if the twins have kept Miguel Sano or not. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Kicks and fires. Not sure which lineup the Twins are going off with here. Um, doesn't seem like a lot of players are here. We see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. Me too. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys. Got him. Gordon strikes out. Oh, and looking good, man. Just so you can kind of I don't know where him and Muncy are in rookie of the year. But they keep an eye on that. Here's Josh Van Meter. Here is Josh Van Meter. I was just fixing to say, he's a guy that I had a lot of issues getting out in the Giants fringe. That just carries on here. Meter rips one. Run around at first with one gone. Here's Trevor Larnick. Get this for real. Here. So here's Trevor Larnick. Ninety two. Still haven't seen ninety five by Hoagland. Larnick's having a good season, hitting two eighty. How many bats he's got? A little bit of power, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> okay, maybe he doesn't. Oof, that slider keeps backing up, and I don't like it. Quickly down 0-2. Oh, that changeup. They are not lighting on the changeup so far. Take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. And a ball in two strikes. And that's going to get through. And that one finds its way through. And he can't come Andrew's going to bobble it. No advance by the runner. So first and second again. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat. They are poking these hits through the holes there. Two strikes right there. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going Comes Tucker Barnhart. the opposite field for that knock. Oakland's giving up some hits here. Two runners on in each of the first two innings. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. See if we can get out of this one. Left hand hitter waits. Oof. And that's through there for a strike. I gotta say, man, Gunner's missing his spots a little bit. At second, Larnick, over at really first, is. He's away. missing his spots a little bit, but let's hope we can find that location. Ground ball right side could be there, baby. Good ball. double play. Moncada. Nice scoop. Nice throw. We're going to get out of it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna have that animation where he missed it. But he didn't. Double play ball, get out of it. Go to the second. Bottom of the second. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Rafael Marchand. 14 game hitting streak for Rafael. Take that. Yeah, Another first pitch fastball. Like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle right. for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Exactly had to work hard. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Mm. Strike two. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the Somehow first. missed that one. Around a little bit. Just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Timing yeah, and we missed it. Okay. Anyone. It's a tough place oh, to and be. Two. 
because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping and ground out the third. Need to figure it out quickly, though. Zips Rafael is retired. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just appreciate everyone that's been watching the videos. Leaving your likes and uh, Next up for the A's, comments. Christian Thank you so much. Like I said, just do this for fun. He's been inconsistent offensively. I would like to get this team a title. Here is Pache as he is on ice cold since the first couple weeks. Bird is down to. Hmm. Didn't swing that anyway. It was actually down to 197. And in literally the game before this, he had three RBIs. Two down. He's starting to find his swing again. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Robert Poisson. Comes Robert. Oof. Another first pitch fastball. I'm pretty sure he has uh, been a first pitch fastball to every. The 0 1. That one drifts inside. Good pitch count, though, from Moeller. No pressure on his end. Ah. A little inside-out swing. Brings it in, and we are retired. In. One, two, three. Two full. It's the A's two, and the Go to third. Nothing. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. John Birdie at the plate. Leading off for the twins. It's good speed at the top the of the order base. here. You want to get it on, Gone. see if you can get a stolen base, maybe Birdie. get around hey, the base and pick up a run. It's only a speed threat. Back to work. Ball one, okay. no strikes. Thank you, Ump. They need help. Appreciate it. <sighs> Love when they just decide to not call it a strike, right? Now. The wind of the pitch. I don't think, foul. do not think that Devers is in. He probably needs to be not in. I don't know if he's going to bunt or not. I don't think he is. He would have showed bunt by now. Not bunting. But he's got a lot of speed and he can bunt. No go here as he's behind one, two. The pitch. That's to third. Devers, uh, you're not gonna get him. You took way too long. And he beats it. That's of course, he took way too long. Try there. That should be a base hit. At least he stopped it. Nice try. Just took way too long. Great hustle for the infield hit. Birdie is on. Robbie Rarick, the next twin up to here. Is a guaranteed stolen base opportunity here. Well, here's a good we'll probably see a lot of fastballs. On the scoreboard after that leadoff hit, and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Another, another hit. Coming up a lot of hits. See if we catch him, catch him in, in there. Go. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh, and one. Next offering is in. Oh, and two. This is one of those situations the infielders have to. Now, is Birdie play thinking play about going here on O2? The ball's got to be hit extremely hard. Hit and run went right very well last time. They're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The difference was he did that on the very first pitch. Come on, guys. Let's go. And a pitch. Oof. Stays alive. Get away with it. Get away with it. Let's do it again. Right hander kicks deals. We'll take. Pitch misses there. And a count one and two. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. What our bullpen look like today? Ooh, our bullpen pretty wore out. Okay. 
Deer might be available. All right. Birdie gets his lead at first with nobody out. One ball, two strikes. I don't know how he didn't swing that. Take. It's a tough lineup. Really tough lineup. I think that that game that Hoagland pitched against the Astros, he was very good. But I also think that uh, they were sitting some of their hitters. Oh. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball Three. there. Two and two. Twins team, man. They're stressing me out. Got him. Somehow. He missed that pitch. Big first out. Franklin Labor now at the plate. Right, comes Labor. Labor? Is that what this game just said? Hmm. That's in there for strike one. So many mistakes were made on that. We're gonna watch for the uh, steal here. I'm honestly surprised that Birdie has not tried to go. Really, really. Check on the runner. Birdie back in stand. And to be careful, Labor does have some power. Wind is blowing out as well. Eh, okay, well I thought he had more power than that, but okay. He's got a lead over there. Another throw. Gonna take a gander oh, here. That time as well. Next offering upstairs. Okay. I don't know what Blue's doing here, but they called the inside part of any part of the plate. I missed that one there, my guy. One and one. I think Birdie's gonna go here. Steps off and looks to first. One. And the there he goes. Deals. Birdie runs. And Marshawn guns him out. You just can't do this, man. I was on a changeup, too. That was heck, heck of a throw. Monty quick to the bag. Good tag. Good lord, Marshawn's been good. Better backs up. We'll do it again. One, two. Now nobody on base. Down ball, right Muncy. On first. Good inning. That ends the Good inning. Only one hit this inning. The bottom of the third. Oncata, Meadows, Haniger. Two up. Back in Oakland as we go to the last of the Leading third. Off. Here Eight. is Moncada. The first baseman. Yo Moncada. Put a struck out. Struck out in his first at bat. Congratulations to Yoan getting his thousandth hit at the rear. Probably a couple games ago. I know he went 0 for 4. Last simulated game. Still a very good signing. I'm I'm satisfied with Yohan Moncada's. He fits very nicely in the number two spot. And, and if Robert starts struggling in the leadoff, we may move him to leadoff. I personally love having a switch hitter hit leadoff. It's just me though. The three one. So Ankara takes beat. his base. Allows Strike to out to a walk. Pass. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Leading off. Now it's Austin Meadows. Comes Meadows. 
A splintered pop up to third base, his first at bat. Probably not too happy about that. First pitch doesn't find the popular zone. scouting report is keep it in. The popular scouting report on that. And now the lefty. Oof, well, you better hope you don't mess up away. like that. <laughs> My goodness, he fouls that off one one. That's two sliders hanging that we did not do it. Timing on that breaking ball, but he's gonna have to stay ready for fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by. Oh, gonna be away. Oh, it was inside. Okay. Two and two. He does have a slider. I'm waiting for that pitch. Again. Next offering is foul. It again, man. We fouled it off. It was fastball up. I've wasted three good pitches. Two two now. Swing that is a double play right ball. To second, now to first, and two at bats and three play. outs for Meadows. Hey, you know what? He's you know he's not perfect. He didn't have a bad game. Has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Two quick outs. Here. So two down now, and here is Mitch Haniger, one for one with a double and a run. Score. Oh, don't swing it. And he swings. I can't check my swing. Damn it. Haniger 276. He had the RBI double after Poisson stole second. Really, cool. really clutch, man. Also, got on base. Moncada struck out. Meadows popped out. Haniger had a double. He's not going to get that here. We are retired. Sitting for Moeller. Let's go to the fourth. Do nothing. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set Leading to lead off the, the fourth. Byron Guns Buxton. Buxton. Byron. Yeah, Ooh, thank you, Blue. The There's one call you made up for me. For one. The pitch. A lot of speed on this team. And that is ball one. A lot of speed on this team. Buxton and Birdie. I believe that Larrick guy. Buxton stings this one. Oshay will get it. One down. Larrick has some speed. He's got a lot of speed. Comes Miranda 0 for 1. There and it's yeah, Hoagland just uh, tipped the iceberg when it comes to some good pitching that we got coming. Go ahead and say, man, the rotation next year is going to look a lot different. That's some guys that could be fighting for a spot next year. Music, O'Hara, name a few. Only two now. Wow. The punch out there. Of course, we get can't forget about Elroy Mack. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul. Man, I don't know how he did that. We'll take it. Hoagland strikes him out. Nick Gordon, the next twin up to hit. He's over for one. Better inside one of. Gordon's got a little bit of speed too, if I'm not. Bacon. The one oh. Round ball. Robert. On the run, throw nice first. one, two, three. First one, two, three. Ending for Hoagland. The twins. They trail it here to the bottom four. And flying by. Probably you like that, right, viewer? No one wants to see a two hour game, right? 
bottom of the inning. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter? Here comes Devers. They would say him. An RBI single. And a pitch. And he stings that ball. That ball hit hard to left or center field. They going back. Busting going back. Somehow not gone. Okay. I don't know what went wrong there. I was legit thinking that was gone. Perfect, perfect power hitter. Wind blowing out. Maybe not enough power. Ender swings and misses, and misses at that pitch. Muller got away with one there. Oh, the wind's blowing in at eight. The pitch. Thought it was blowing out at eight miles an hour. Oh, that, that's the reason right there. Under two and one. Walked his first time. We're definitely last in the league in walks. We are first, or we have the least strikeouts as a team. I'll put it that way. Hit hard on the ground to short. Rounds out to short. The he is out. Two up, two down. But both pitchers are settling in now. Now batting the second baseman. Max Muncy will hit next. Fly out his first time. Comes Max. Ah. This one in the air I told myself field. I wasn't going to swing at it, and but I couldn't help it. it. Muncy is going to be retired. Good bat, two flyouts. One, two, They're three. On two one to the fifth. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the right fielder, Josh Van Meter. Off for the twins, the right Josh Van Meter. I was just going to say last time that in the Giants franchise, the when he was on the Diamondbacks, for he was one of the few batters I had such a hard time there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Oof. Back over the plate there. Ah. Oh and two to Van Meter. Change up has not been working. Oof, way inside. And, and 91 there. Oh. 60 pitches here as we're here in the fifth inning. Next offering upstairs. Are we really going to have this again? Is this going to be another Blue Jays game? Come on, Ump. You are killing me. Dude, that's the fourth one. And the 2-2. Two -two. Called it that time. Surprised he did. He went strikes out another. Trevor Larnett, the next twin up to hit. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Beat that to left. Pender has got it. Two down. Makes the catch. And the exact same pitch as last time, I think. You got to hit the first time. Two outs, bases empty. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. Is Tucker? He hit into a double play his first time up. Last ball outside. Let's keep an eye on the Mariners and see if they've won their game or not. Then all this winning, and we're only a game and a half ahead. 
Heads up. Swings and fouls one off. Hey, off and back out. Be nice to get Hoagland through six. And a one one. Ouch. Swing and off the catcher. Heads up. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Oof. High fly ball. Got away with one there. There's Pache. Got it. All right, so maybe Hoagland will get through six. In short order. They trail Looking good, man. Give up a lot of his hits in the first two innings. Keep it up, man. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the catcher comes up Leading to him. Rafael the Marchand. The catcher. Rafael oh, what a curve. And it's 0-1. 14 game hitting streak for Marshawn. The wind of the pitch. 15 game hitting streak for Marshawn. A baby. He's off to him. He's picked it up, man. Starting the season. Started the season 0 for 10. Now he's got a 15 game hitting streak. Spread that one up real nice. Thank you, Philly. Everything it seems he's hitting hard. As hot as he is, I could see this streak going for a little while longer. Here's Christian Pache. Chances are his hitting streak will end when I send him a game. Here's Pache. Upped out in the second inning. Marshawn on at first. Nobody out. Next off, Ricky pitch there. For a strike. Pitch there. One and one. At the belt and fire. Oh. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Ugly swing. Pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Kicks and deals. A outside. Well, he might have to two two. for a different put away pitch right here. It would feel real good for Pache. A couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And here it comes. Well, the ball hit hard. That's back there. Right center. Off the top of the wall. Are you kidding me? Marshawn's going to be waved in. Here comes the throw. Safe. RBI double for Pache. Wow. That almost got out. Pretty sure they hit the top of the wall. Pretty sure they hit the top of the wall. Manager out of the dugout now. That's gonna be it for Muller. Like we'll see a change on the mound. Kyle Muller won't go any further, and as he heads off, he'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher. Had a good pitch count. Give up a lot of hard hits though. Yoan Adon will take over here. Do not know who this is. Do not know who this guy is. We'll check him out. Busy man. His 13th game of the year. Check out Yoan Adon. 26 years old. He's is a relief pitcher. Okay. Some of the stats don't look that great. 63 overall. Hasn't played since 21. Really stands out and strikes some people out. That's about it, man. Walks, home run, clutch. Well, take advantage of this. And stepping in is the speedy Robert Poisson. Here's Robert. For strike one. Had a hit. Also stole a base. Scored off the Mitch Hannon. Double. Rockies are pounding the Reds 20 to 2 right now. There's a ground ball. Posh they will get to third. Fires over to first. And that's the first take down to the bottom of the field. Which hit, but hey, we'll take that. One down. The first baseman, number 10. Yoan Moncada. And now Yoan Moncada. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that. All right, well. here's Yoan. In this situation, you have a really good buddy, runner at third, less than two outs. Do this. 
I think you attack him in this spot. Hit weakly on the ground. I guess I guess we can't do this. That's shouldn't have swung at the first pitch. I blame myself on that one. That's that wasn't your fault, Yohan. That was all me, buddy. Meadows. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Lane and low up and loosening in the pen. Serpa, the left Angel Serpa. Up as well. I don't know who any of those two cats are. Meadows, hard to right field. The off the wall. Off the wall. Runner scores. Meadows going for two, and he will get there. Austin Danger Meadows strikes again. Are we surprised? I'm not. I sting in that ball. Or nothing. Our offense has been very consistent this year. And it's scored position with two away. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Mitch Hanniger. Swings through that one. Looks so good. The strategy of winning a ball game when you could make that pitcher work a little more. Here is Hanniger. Another chance for the runner in scoring position. That could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four. Hey, up there. Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets good arms hard, all across the end or like outfield. Miss. That's a nice miss right there. Two outs. We don't have one to talk miss. about how good Buxton's arm is. Two outs and one in scoring position. Out of baby. You know what? Let's test it. Meadows getting tested. Safe. Our baby Hanniger. Two RBIs today. Five nothing Oakland. I was very hesitant about sending them, but you know what? I might as well try. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Now batting. The third baseman. Raphael. Devers, he probably made the loudest out of the game last at bat. As he has an RBI. Said it in the in the breakdown before the season started. The middle of this lineup is our motor. Yeah, that's downstairs and but they outside. are. Devers, Meadows, Hanniger. Floriano hasn't really been doing his job, but the other three have. Devers will ground out. That'll be it. We get two more. Out, More support three. for Five innings complete. Oakland. Go to the sixth. And the twins nothing. But that's what I said in the season preview video. We need the center of this lineup to be our motor, and they have definitely been our motor. Top six. Here's the second baseman, John Birdie. Leading off for the twins. The second baseman, John Birdie. John Birdie again. Back to the top lineup we go. Right hander back to work. One there. He triple. Does not surprise me with the speed that he's got. Righty to the plate. On the ground to uh, third. And that squirts through. Probably gonna get two here. Around first and hustling for second. The throw nice in. throw by Pender, but it's not gonna be in time. There's something about Birdie down gets down on base the second time. It's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. So man aboard. Go ahead and get the getting ready to pin up. Here comes Rarick. Hey, thanks for calling that. Appreciate it. He has a single. He has solid arms. I mean, not not great, but solid arms. Come on, let's go, guys. The changeup has not gotten any calls today at all. Like we have, they haven't swung at it, and I, I won't say the changeup is probably his weakest pitch right now. And the righty deals. 
All right, Hardy will get to third base. One down. I'll take that. That's all right. Good job. Good job. He's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Here comes Buxton, I think. No, I'm sorry. Labor's up. Next to hit, Franklin Labor. One for two. Or has got an RBI chance. Good chance of making contact, which is all they pretty much need. Unless it gets hit right back to the pitcher, of course. Kicks and fires. Yeah, change up. Might as well not throw that change up. Has it been uh, useful? Deals. Pitch. One, two. <laughs> you know, very confident pitcher. The one, two. Oh, that one upstairs. Yeah. Place pitch there. Trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. And now two and two. Got him. Six up strikeout number seven. Seven Ks for Gunner. Big second out. Byron Buxton the digs in now. The center fielder. Byron Buxton. Do we let him pitch to Buxton? Two outs. Worst case scenario is one two runs get in if he gets a homer. In there and it's 0-1. Don't want that, but see? Two outs with a runner at third. Oh. Yes, got Buxton to strike out. One and one. The only adjustment after a fantastic is at bat. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And one. Here comes pitch number eighty. Gonna go foul. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Back to that slider. And a pitch. Got him. Swing and a miss. Out of baby. Eight game. strikeouts for a Gunner. So That'll far. do it for him. Sure We're gonna close the book on him. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the A's five. Yeah, the... Back here in the East Bay, bottom of the sixth inning. We have the left fielder, eight. Chad Pender. No here comes fielder. Pender. That'll definitely yeah. be it. Um, I really wish I could just Hearn here needs a day. So we'll get uh, we get Clay Holmes warming up actually. Adone, back to work. Pitches in there. That's strike one. Ender 0 for 2 in his last game. 0 for 1 tonight. He has had a walk. The one is outside. Walking a, a ground out? Ground up shortstop. Here comes a pitch. So now 1 and 2. Man. He has a tendency to side of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money one and to get that swing and miss. Righty delivers. Change up in slider looks like the exact same pitch. I'm not gonna lie. It's Way out there, full count. Once the on deck. I can walk people. Really keep that in mind. Chances are this will be out of the zone. Right hander kicks deals. A pender don't care. He's gonna shoot that to right field. Good at bat. Good at bat, man. A oh, baby pender. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. 
you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. All right, Muncie. Let's get you a hit, man. Let's get you a hit. Nobody out. Runner on first. Next offering is down low. Good take. Yeah, that's ball yeah. one. Pinder, the board Angels win again. With nobody out. You win our division, lose when we're winning. And that one is lifted. Once he's gonna hit that hard, Muncy but that's gonna do literally position. nothing. One down. Yeah, there's one away. Tough night for Muncie. Now batting. The catcher. I feel like our lead in the division should be a lot more than what it is, but it's not because the other teams are unfortunately winning with us. Rafael Marchand now at the plate. Astros are winning in the ninth. Of course, they're fifth in the division as of right now. A baby Marchand got his second hit of the night. I think it's safe to say that Marshawn's our number one catcher. One Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once we've got Tyler Soberstrom and the Miners. He is struggling though mightily. I don't know if he's ever going to hit. Only hitting 137 to play right now. That's not what we need. Who knows? Maybe we call him up and he does great, but. I mean, he just, he is not doing it. I'm thinking about sending him down to double A again. I want to give him a chance. Way inside, gets out of the way. There you go, there's Pache's stats from the last game. Two homers, three RBI. Had a really good game. Didn't notice he had two home runs. Wow. Little excuse me swing here. We're going to wave around. And he will score. Nice job by Pender. Wow, what a lucky hit. What a lucky hit. Ashe. That was no reason that should have been a hit. Such a bad hitter tonight. Ashe. Here comes Robert. Shortstop. In there for strike one. Had a single lead off the game. That's pretty much it. Single stolen base. Scored off Henniger. Other than that, he hasn't done a whole lot. Oh, wow. That gets down. Okay. I don't know what happened with the shortstop there. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. The first that's now three Number hits 10. in a row for the offense. Yellow. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside. Oh, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands Base, I just really don't know how Gordon didn't get that ball. Take that back up the middle. Shows his approach. Base is loaded. One out. Here's Yoan Moncada. Yoan Moncada with a chance to hit. And first offering no is better than swing at first. The Nationals are bad again. in 26. One out, bases Maybe that should be my next team. Ground ball left side. That is probably going to be a double play. No, run. too slow. Too slow. Okay. We're going to take on another run because of that. Nice hustle by Yohan. I promise you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the I don't know RBI why they took forever on that double play. That's going to be it. Here comes another guy. Don't know who this cat is either. Let's take a look at him. Lane and low. 70 overall, 26 years old. Looks like a lot of these... Bullpen arms from the Twins are just either rookies, or not a lot of experience. Don't talk about it. this guy's actually a starter. 70 overall, 26. I'm gonna guess his overall is a B. Meadows now. Potential maybe. Austin. Meadows. First pitch and he just. Could have been. Not the easiest thing. Not the guy you want up. Guy that's you know 
perhaps is going to be in the rotation. Hunter's on. Well, maybe a long Meadows way to loves it. Not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And there's the strike. I'm not going to do anything if I keep swinging at that. People player of the month here. Meadows, we are in the first week of May. Where the Ah. And he throws it off. To first, and he beats it wow. All the time in the world. Well, All the time the game, in the world. He just couldn't do anything with it. Can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball. Here is Hanniger with two. Now batting Mitch Hanniger for the fourth time tonight. Hanniger. Anniger is going to hit that to left field. That will help the whole bunch of nothing. And that'll do it. Go to the seventh. My seventh headphones just randomly stop playing easy. audio. And the Twins nothing. We'll play ball. Out of baby. We'll take that. A little bit of drama. We got the win. It's a big win. Mariners right on our heels and every win we can get. The game for us. Eight nothing is your final. Gunnar Hoagland stays hot, man. Six innings, give up six hits, eight strikeouts, didn't walk anyone, didn't give up a run. He was good, to say the least. Muller gets the loss, only going four innings. Hanniger. Two RBIs. Posh Day with two RBIs. Meadows with two RBIs. Marshawn three for four. Hitting streak stays alive. And just like that, baby, we are 22 and 11. Thanks what we are. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more A's content. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter is down below in the description. Thank you so much. We will see you next time. Go freaking A's. Bye-bye.